we are gonna be moving in a couple of weeks. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today is a really fun day. We are going to look at a house. I'm actually bummed that I didn't start filming it yesterday because we've been kind of looking, if you guys have followed me on Instagram, you know, we've been kind of looking for a house, Eric and I, um, for the past like year or so, going to open houses, looking at what we like and don't like here in LA. And yesterday we potentially found the one. It is like the most perfect one that we've seen. So beautiful, new construction, modern, with a pool, like all the things that I wanted and I'm very high maintenance in terms of what I'm looking for. Um, but we really liked it, so we're actually going back today. So I'm vlogging this so you guys can see what it looks like and just come along this journey with me because I don't know, I'm very nervous. We've never bought a house before and this is like a huge, a huge deal for us starting my business in a tiny house and then now buying like a huge whole ass house as I keep saying. So <laughs> um, I will catch up with you guys when we get there. It takes about 20 minutes and I will see you in a second. I guess but I don't it has like a full kitchen in it so I feel like you know, why wouldn't you rent that out and then make that another stream of passive Thank you. 
So I think actually maybe this upstairs smaller room like blacked out lights situation might be better for my office and then the yeah, gym sure. room. <sighs> okay, what are your thoughts? I love it. I mean, I really love I it. I really like it too. I think I'm just like scared because it's yeah, such a big, I mean, it's, a big it's purchase, such a big but... purchase. But and it's I, an investment though too. It's, it's yeah, not like a purchase. Really. That's true. It's an investment. It's an investment. Real estate is a good investment. Um, also, I like what he was saying about the location. I really feel like this is the best, most walkable location outside of where we are right now. Yeah. Alfred. There's farmer's an Alfred, market. there's a farmer's market, there's gyms, yoga studios, Sephora. restaurants, Sephora, Sephora within walking distance, you guys. This is a nice quiet street with sidewalks. That's a big deal to me because I want to feel like safe to walk around, take my dogs out. And I mean, this is not new information, but in LA, you do have to be really like specific <laughs> where you where you walk around by yourself as a woman. So um, I definitely feel like this is a nice, like calm, quiet neighborhood, which I really like. Oh, they have a big lemon tree. Yeah, we need a Can lemon we get tree. a lemon tree? Yes. Well, that maybe wouldn't be that hard to like plant because the there is natural grass. We have come to Erwan to do a little bit of deliberation and try the smoothie. It's very good. It's very sweet. <clears throat> Tastes like strawberry ice cream. But it's really vibey over here. I like this Erwan a lot. I told Eric we'll probably just end up coming here every night for dinner if we live over here. Okay, I'm gonna call our realtor. I literally like, oh, there we go, call. <laughs> so, I, I kind of wanted your opinion because I think we were kind of thinking we want to make an offer that like has a deadline before their open house tomorrow? Yep, yep. Do you think 3-6 is a strong enough offer? Or like, can they, can, I just wanna like start the conversation and then if they come back, like, then whatever. But I, I don't know, what do you think? I think at this point, regardless, they're, they're probably still gonna hold the open house. But you could still have the offer expire before 12.30 tomorrow. And then so like they would respond and it at least opens up conversation. Okay. Um, I don't think that you will completely fend with that price, um, but I don't know at this point if they'll accept that. From your experience, like if we really want the house, like obviously like we really like it, like also being a friend, like yeah. what what would you suggest? Yeah, like, what, would, like what was it, what's your what opinion? What would you do? If you really like it and you do want to shut it down, I would say asking. If you want to open up the conversation, I would say probably like 50,000 under. It's happening. It's happening. Okay, well actually, let me explain what what is happening. We just got home, put my hat on because we're gonna go take the girls for a walk. And I think we are submitting an offer. We just talked to my parents because I'm 33 and I still need my parents to help me with things. Um, but I just had them like look over the offer letter and everything to make sure, because obviously we've never bought a house before. I don't really know if anything is standard or like what to look for. So talk to them. They said it all looks good. They feel good about it too. They're mostly just excited because they want to live in that back office. <laughs> they want to come visit and stay in there. So, I mean, that's, that's a good perk as well. So we're going to submit the offer. The house we're looking at is listed for 3.69, 3.695, and we are offering 3.6, which is coming in a little bit lower, so we have some room to negotiate, but it's still like, it's a brand new house. 3.695. 3.695. It's a brand new house. It's got that back unit to rent out. It's like, everything is so nice, and like, the problem I've had with a lot of other things that we've looked at is that they all just look so cookie cutter and like housey house is how I call them. Like they look like you're gonna settle down and like have a couple kids. And that's great for people that wanna do that, but it's just not really my vibe. Like I like something more modern and like unique, 
and has like those really cool details and that's exactly what this house is so i'm willing to pay pretty much full price if it comes to that but i'll let you guys know so it's like 9 p.m we just finally submitted our first offer for 3.6 and they have a deadline for they basically have to answer or negotiate with us before noon tomorrow so fingers crossed i will let you guys know what happens Philip, want to go over it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so they're coming back with a price at three million six hundred sixty-five thousand. Okay. Um, in lieu of the credit for the washer and dryer, they'll install the washer and dryer um, Samsung in the main house. I feel like it shouldn't be a problem because I think when we got the three seven approval, <clears throat> the guy was kind of like, "Yeah, if you need more, you'll definitely get approved for it." Yeah, so exactly. Okay, so that was our agent. You guys heard part of that call. They came back and countered at, I think what we offered 3.6, they came back at 3.665 with like a shorter inspection period. So now I'm just trying to get a hold of my parents to see if they can make it out next weekend and like look it over before we make our final decision. But we might also, there's another open house today too. And we might go back and look at it for the third time because I do just kind of want to see it again. Okay, we just got to the house. The little water feature is going. How cool is that? Inspection went well. There's only a few minor things that he noted. Like that tree that I just showed you guys out there um, is kind of like, it's our neighbor's tree. It's kind of like growing over into our property. So just a couple minor things, but overall the big things all look good. So we've got two more days to just make a final decision and then this might be our house. Hi guys, okay, it's been like two weeks or something since I last vlogged, so I wanted to update you on everything that is going on. Right now, Eric and I are actually headed to the new house to meet with an interior designer. She's gonna like look at the house and give us a quote for how much her designing, styling costs, which I'm just preparing myself because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a lot. Um, but anyways, we went with my parents to the house last weekend and had them just like, give us their blessing since we've never bought a house before and they have we just kind of wanted to hear from them like do you think everything looks good do you think we'll have a lot of issues or anything and my parents were like even more obsessed with the house than we are so we just got an email from the loan person saying that the contingency is removed or whatever so i think that means that basically right now everything is finalized so we are in escrow loan is finalized nothing is wrong with the house like Everything is moving and we are going to be moving into our new house. So, I mean, I think that's the so last that step means then. that's the last step and we are going to be moving in a couple of weeks. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to see all of the new house content. I'm going to be vlogging the whole thing, moving in, decorating. I'm so excited. I can't wait. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.